Hey there, this is Mike from This Old Relic. And guess what? We're working on the Toro today. Who would have thunk? So, all of this nightmare of an issue, it just seems like one problem that's kind of cascading into the next. And currently, what I'm working with, we're gonna be replacing this thing. I already got it off. See, it's kind of dirty. Looks like it was leaking gas. This is the carburetor, in case you didn't know what this was. Um, I just ordered a new one. I sat there and figured, yeah, I could clean this up and everything and probably get it to work. But it's four years old. I might as well just go ahead and replace it. It is leaking gas. I think I do have a new gasket somewhere for it, but I don't know where that's at because the kit comes with it. I actually ordered the exact same one off of Amazon that I got four years ago when I replaced it. So, and it was actually bad when I replaced it. They were using a fuel filter as a carburetor and I replaced the fuel filter thinking that would be prudent. And well, that's when I started having all kinds of issues. So I just bought a new carb for it and this is held up for four years. And I think pretty sure this is the issue because what's happening is I throttle it up way up, get, get that choke wide open and it has to run on there and it runs very poorly on there for a while until it really warms up. Then I'm able to finally take it down and bring it up to speed. But there's also other maintenance that needs to be done. So I'm also working on changing the filter, which is really easy to do when the carburetor's out. And with the oil filter, I also need to change the oil. So that's all due for its regular maintenance on, on those uh, two fronts. And uh, yeah, the new carburetor, nice new shiny, carburetor came with a lot of cool extra parts air filter which I replaced recently that was due here's the gaskets they gave us some new fuel line I won't use that probably uh, fuel shutoff switch and some new fuel filters which I just replaced that that was pretty gummed up too I ripped it open and uh, did a short on it but we're gonna go ahead dig into this uh, monstrosity of a beast and hopefully we can figure out how I, hopefully this is it hopefully we got something that runs well and as as it is it's supposed to let's put it that way at least well good enough so let's get to work okay so we started with i already got the oil filter in and i'm draining the old oil right now it's taken a long time to do that well, good news is, is I don't see any little silvery stuff in the oil, so we might be good on that front. So for step one, we gotta get all these little plastic pieces off of the carburetor, and then get them on the nice new shiny one. I probably won't do a whole step-by-step -step tutorial. I mean, this is a pretty common thing. not true i want to put up all my walls cause i'm not in the mood but then i cut myself off from the rest of the room i know that time can kneel it all if you're patient and soon it can all be worth it all the searching pain is never really permanent but damn it hurts man i could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning i've been searching for a purpose i hope it's worth it this society is really trying to well i'm gonna have to look at the parts diagram i might be missing a part a spring on this that might be where all my issues are and it didn't come with any extra springs so eh, we'll see in case you're wondering what, what I put in there for oil super tech 10 w30 nothing but the cheapest for my mower This 
Life's a mission, I have permission I gotta be human, find a solution, my evolution A place like this, it didn't make sense to me like this You can go through the battle to get that glass half away I don't know, it's easy to know Alright, seems to be doing okay. I'm wondering once the bowl fills up, because I just opened up the gas tank, that might actually just go ahead and do it, but it's at least running, and I don't have to keep it on full choke. I should have at least filled up that oil filter. Yep, we need a little bit more. Well, it's been a long, long journey with this time cutter for the season. And I'll tell you, after a whole new electrical system, setting the valves, seems like the carburetor is going to do it. Um, I have to take it out today, so I guess I'll find out. If not, there'll be another part to this saga. If there isn't, well, that's it. I guess until the next time something breaks. But until then, well, I'll see you next time.